In one of my previous mentoring videos, I talked about oversharing, what happens when we overshare, and some strategies and tactics that you can put in place to keep from oversharing. In this video, let's talk about those signs that where we can recognize we're about to share more or we're in that danger zone where people typically talk more, explain longer, and share more than is necessary. It's all around emotion. Think about those emotions that create that feeling where your heart is starting to flutter. These are the emotions that take over and we move into that flight or, flight or fight response. Things like anger, frustration, fear. Those are pretty common things to think about, oh yeah, I'm feeling nervous or anxious and keep, to keep an eye on it. Another thing that creates that same sensation in our bodies are very positive emotions. So think about the emotions such as excitement, joy, awe. Any of those types of emotions also tend to create the environment where we are prone to share more than we want or need to share. These are also very contagious emotions. So if you're in a meeting and it starts to get heated and you notice that other people in the room are feeling those tense emotions that create that perfect environment, be really aware because it's super easy for you to take that on and then start to feel those same emotions, which again, leads to oversharing. So if oversharing is one of those habits that you're trying to break and you just can't figure out how to stop it before it starts, begin with paying attention to your emotions. Let me know what you think about these tips how oversharing impacts your life and what you'd like to learn about next in the next video. I look forward to hearing your thoughts and feedback. Thanks so much.